Hey, this is Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. Today, I'm participating in the 2021 Spring Room Challenge. So I'm going to take my second guest bedroom and I'm going to give it a spring refresh. So if you'd like to see what I've done with this space, stay tuned. All right, so I'm excited to be showing you guys my second guest bedroom. And I want to give you just a little bit of background about what's going on in this area before we start decorating. So my first um, guest bedroom is fully furnished and decorated, and it's a little bit more intentional. However, over the years, I wind up acquiring a third bed. So when I moved into this home um, about a year ago, I just decided since I have this third bed, I'm going to have two guest bedrooms. Now, that being said, the rest of the furniture in this space really isn't intentional um, or meant for bedrooms. But because I already owned it and I had this third bed, I figured I might as well make a second guest bedroom. Now, part of the reason reason why I'm doing it as well is because after quarantine is over, I do anticipate family coming over um, to see my home because when we bought the house um, shortly thereafter, we went into quarantine. So we haven't had family come visit uh, very much to see the house anyway. So I do anticipate having, you know, multiple relatives in the house at the same time. And the second guest bedroom would be perfect. So that being said, this particular room is kind of a hodgepodge of furniture, um, but I am going to make it nice for now. And then sometime down the road, I am going to really work on giving this room the proper attention that it deserves. But for now, we're going to make it pretty. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to take in consideration when configuring this room is I want to make sure that I have an ample amount of space to walk around the room. And in this back corner, I definitely don't want to obstruct the air conditioning vent. Um, so that's very important. So that being the case, because my bed is a queen, this is the only wall that I can fit it on and still have good access to the uh, bathroom, which is a Jack and Jill bathroom right there. And then there's, of course, you have to have access to the hallway and I have a closet door in the back corner as well so I think the bed is going to fit comfortably here now this little wall space I would love to put maybe a console table and maybe find some wall art for this wall I'm not quite sure if that's something I'm going to be able to do without uh, taking up too much of the walking space Okay, so the first thing I want to do to get started is really just to shop my home. So I laid out all of the stuff that I have that's either like a pastel or more of a coastal vibe to it. And so I just put it in different parts of the room and then I'm just going to decide what's going to stay and what's not going to stay. And then I'll go shopping for anything else I feel like I may need. Now, one of the things I want to point out is one of my favorite sets of pillows. I love these pillows. They have beautiful pastel flowers on them. I found these um, probably sometime last year. Um, um, and I found them at Macy's for like $2 a piece. And I was like, oh, these are so cute. They're really great for springtime. And so I feel like if I don't really use them in the spring, I probably won't use them for the rest of the year just because of the colors. All right, so just under the window, I have a small side table and I have two corals in a sphere that is completely covered in shells. Now on my TV stand, I just put out a couple of things that I think could really go with this particular motif. And then I also made um, a pastel and white floral arrangement. I'm not sure if I'm going to just go with the pastels or if I'm going to go fully nautical or maybe try to blend the two. I'm not really decided as of yet. So right now this room does have a TV stand and I'm not sure if I'm going to eventually take down the art and just mount a TV um, or whether or not I'm going to um, put a desk in this area. So for right now I think that the TV stand works and because it, it is so low I can put like a really tall floral arrangement and it not obstruct the view of my artwork. Okay, so I'm going to just start adding the things around different areas of the room. I did decide to go ahead and use my pastel pillows simply because I feel like if I don't use them now, I won't use them at all. So oh, in my TV console, I decided to go ahead and put in some of my green guest towels because I like the pop of color it gives and the texture. I also feel like the guest towel should definitely be somewhere where the guests can get to them easily and feel very comfortable. So at the bottom, I'm going to add in my silver coral. I really just love this piece. I like the size and shape and just how unique it is. And of course, the finish is really nice and has a great texture to it as well. 
Now next to it, I'm going to put in a tall piece of driftwood that I have. I love the driftwood. It is a bit of an awkward shape, so I'm always uh, excited to find a place where I can put it. And of course, on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and put in one of my lanterns. And it's a piece I love as well. Now, I had decided to take out my full arrangement from that uh, sheer glass and put it in a blue and white shinrazeri jar. Now you guys already know I am obsessed with blue and white shinrazeri. However, I do think that that sheer container or sheer vase that I was using earlier um, was a better choice for this space. However, it is so sheer and I just don't have the right vase filler to put in there simply because I have so many different stems in there and a lot of them are folded over and it's just unsightly on the inside. So I decided to remove the floral arrangement and put it in my shinrazeri jar instead. Okay, so now we need to talk about the hot button issue in this room, and that is this wall right here. Now, I initially wanted to put like a shallow console table and kind of decorate this like an entryway where I have a console table with some nice things on it and then a piece of art or a large mirror above it because I want to put something on this wall, but I don't want to obstruct the walking space. However, my husband flat out pitched a fit and he really didn't want anything there because he thought it would um, cut into the walking space. I do think there is enough walking space there and I think this wall is too large to not do something. So he wanted to put in a very large piece of structural wall art but we just didn't find a piece that we both liked and agreed on. So leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think I should do with this wall right here. Whether or not you think I should do a console table and kind of decorate it like you would an entryway or if you think structural wall art is the only way to go so leave a comment and let me know what you think because we need your help to split the tie All right, so here are my final looks for this room. I think I'm loving the way that this is coming together so far. I love the pastel accents that I put in here because I think it gives a really nice fresh springtime feel without being overdone and overworked. I think it actually kind of goes nicely with the coastal feel um, without really competing too much with the coastal aesthetic that's already kind of um, naturally happening in this space. The word I think I would use to best describe it is calming and tranquil. I think that's wonderful, but I also think it comes out very minimalist. And I think for a guest bedroom, minimalist is a good thing, simply because you don't want a room that's over decorated um, and overworked to the point where your guests feel uncomfortable. What I like about the walking space in this room is you can comfortably walk around this room with a wheel in piece of luggage, you know, behind you and not really trip over anything. If your guests have to go to the restroom in the middle of the night they could potentially really get up and go to the restroom without you know tripping over furniture and injuring themselves so for me those things are attractive when it comes to kind of really making sure that the walking space around the room is maximized now, the things that I think I also like about this room is it's a great for a spring refresh. If I had family members coming next week, I think this room is excellent and I think any guests could be comfortable here. I also like the fact that there's room to grow and I could potentially change up things uh, as I found pieces that I think would be great in this space permanently. So after seeing kind of how the room came together with my first real attempt to decorate it, I definitely see some things that I love and I definitely see some opportunities that I could really expand the look of the room to give it a more full and a little bit more of an intentional look. So first, I love the way the um, bed came out. I like the um, canoe paddles above the bed. And actually, I grew up with a mom who liked to do a lot of outdoor activities and um, really tortured me with them throughout my childhood. And so seeing those canoe paddles up there kind of brings me back to childhood um, in a somewhat traumatic but sweet way <laughs> at the same time. Um, that being said, 
I definitely like the decor above the bed and I'm thinking that it's really great. But as I spin over here to this wall that my husband and I had this huge debate over, I'm definitely convinced that we need to do something special with this wall. And um, so I'm really eager to hear your response for whether or not you think I should do kind of like a console table or if you think we should just do a large structural piece of wall art. Now that being said, I'm scared of structural wall art right now on that wall simply because I had just watched um, one of Arvin Alano videos and he was talking about not doing a theme room and going overboard with the theme. So I'm kind of scared. Like if I already have the, the canoe paddles or the oars above the bed, if I put too much on this wall, is that going to just take me into the theme room um, dynamic? I'm not quite sure. So I'm a little bit scared. Thank you, Arvin. You scared me. Um, you put the fear of God in me. <laughs> I should say when it comes to this aspect of decorating the room but I definitely think that the room would really pop a little bit more if I did something with the wall so like I said I'm definitely um, interested in hearing what you guys think about that space in particular all right, so now I wanna turn your attention to the wall that is driving my husband crazy. And it's this wall right here. I totally understand why. When you walk into the room, this wall is the focal point. And so this wall really needs to bring that wow factor. And right now it's just falling a little flat. So really what's going on is that the wall art is very large and the TV console that's up under it is a little too small for the art and for the wall. Ultimately, what I'd like to do in this space is to put a larger piece of furniture under this console. So it might be a desk, it might wind up being a dresser, it might be a credenza or a console uh, table. I'm not quite sure. But whatever it is, I'd like it to be long enough so that I can put two table lamps on either side of the artwork. And if I was to do that, then on the other wall, I would go with either a short two-tier bookshelf and some art or uh, something to that effect on the other wall or maybe just the structural wall art that my husband really wants. Now, I'm not quite ready to make a commitment um, simply because I'm not really sure and clear about what the long-term use for this room is gonna be. So I still have possibilities and I'm not quite ready to commit because really the purpose of this room long-term is still undecided. And so once I have that purpose down and I'm really clear about what the room's gonna be used for, that's gonna be the driving force as to figuring out what furnishings need to go in this room permanently. So once I decide, then I will be able to take my time and find the right unique pieces at a great price. And I'm really excited to see how this room is going to progress throughout the upcoming years. The other thing I really want to do in this room, once I'm really nailing down my color scheme as well, is to get some curtains for this room because I think it's going to add a more homey and more warm look to the space. But for now, I am ready for company to come at any day. So I hope you have enjoyed my 2021 spring home tour. Today's video has been a part of a YouTube collaboration hosted by Glamour Ellen and styled by Miss Linda. I'll have a link to each of the host channels in my description box below, as well as a link to the collaboration playlist. If you liked today's video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.